Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how to change shipping costs on Etsy. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now let's dive right in. So in today's video, I will be discussing about the different steps and how you can actually change or consider changing your shipping costs on Etsy. Here are some strategies. First, evaluate and adjust pricing. So when you evaluate and adjust your pricing, you need to take a comprehensive look at your shipping costs. This includes packaging material, postage, and any additional expenses. Consider if your current shipping costs are accurately reflecting your expenses and if they are competitive in the market. You may need to adjust your pricing to ensure it aligns with your costs while remaining attractive to customers. Next, you need to offer free shipping. So with Etsy, you actually have the free shipping option. And how do you do that? So basically, here is how to set up your free shipping. So you can actually find this article in Etsy Help Center and there you can actually learn more about how you can offer your free shipping to your customers. So this will actually help you um, attract customers and increase your sale because this is one of the most powerful marketing strategy and you can include the shipping cost in the product price as well or build it in the overall cost to provide a seamless free shipping experience for your customer. However, it's important to carefully analyze your pricing and profit margins to ensure offering free shipping is sustainable for your business. Alright, so now let me show you how you can also offer free shipping, especially for those customers who are actually located in the US. So here, under your shipping profile, you can actually edit or create a new profile. And then if you get to scroll down and you need to input all the information needed, um, here you can actually see what you'll charge section under standard shipping and everywhere else. There you can actually click on the drop down and choose free shipping option. So that's actually one way. And if your products and if you're in the US and your products has $35 up, then it's already an automatic free shipping. Next, consider flat rates or tiered pricing. So with this one, you need to simplify your shipping costs by implementing flat rates or tiered pricing. This can make it easier for customers to understand and compare shipping costs across your listings. So for instance, you can offer a flat rate for domestic shipping or provide different shipping tiers based on order value or weight. So this will differentiate uh, de depending on your product or depending on what kind of product you would want to have. Say for instance, it's the quantity of the product. So for example, it's the kilograms or per kilogram or whatnot. So you just need to change that one right here. And then here, say for example, if you're going to edit your item, for one item, it will cost that specific price. But if you have additional items, then you would add up a price as well. And there you have it. Also, you could add um, a shipping upgrade as well for this one, especially for those customers who would like to have a fast transaction or fast shipping option as well, which will also cost more for them. Although it costs more, it will also be a benefit for them or it will be beneficial for them in that case. Now, moving on to our next one. So, next is you need to use calculated shipping. Etsy offers a calculated shipping feature that calculates the shipping cost based on the buyer's location and the dimensions or weight of the item. This can help ensure accurate and fair shipping costs for your customers. Also, make sure to accurately input the item's weight and dimensions to provide accurate calculations as well. So with Etsy, you can actually um, check it right here uh, in one of my shipping profiles. There are actually different prices for 
or the different countries that I have offered, you can actually create a profile um, based on the different countries or the different items that you were creating. Alright, moving on to the next one. So here, you can also offer combined shipping and discounts. Say for example, you have a bundle of a shirt and a socks. So you can actually have a bundled shipping for that one. All you need to do is you need to create your shipping profile. With this strategy, you can actually have multiple items or offer variations of a product considering um, shipping discounts. So this encourages customers to purchase multiple items which can help offset shipping costs and also increase your order value. Which means to say, you can also increase your sales in that sense. Moving on. So, next one is you also need to communicate clearly. So, communication is the key, especially to your customers. When updating your shipping costs, clearly communicate any changes to your customers. Update your shipping policy and provide transparent information about your shipping rates and options on your shop's page. This will help manage customers' expectations and reduce any potential confusion or surprise during the checkout process. Also remember to regularly review and assess your shipping costs to ensure they remain competitive and aligned with your business needs. Also, monitor carrier rates and adjust your pricing costs or shipping costs accordingly to reflect any changes in the shipping fees. Do note that these strategies are only recommendations and their effectiveness may vary depending on your specific business model, product, and target audience. It's also important to analyze your own circumstance and experiment with different approaches to the best to find the best shipping strategy for your Etsy shop. So in the end of today's video, I hope that you have um, you have learned from these strategies which would be the best shipping options and what I can suggest to you guys is that you can actually try out all of these shipping options for you to know which one would suit your business style and strategy and marketing best. So that's about it for today's video. I hope that you find this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video.